determined to follow what was in their heart. Dedicated and devoted, very loyal. For more than 60 years, Holt has been the leader in international adoption. Six years ago, multiracial families were not all that common because there was limited opportunities for international adoptions. In 1956, Bertha and Harry Holt established the Holt International Chosen Services with the purpose of helping the orphaned and abandoned babies left behind by American soldiers after the Korean War. It was through this encounter with the abandoned dry babies that led the Holtz to explore transracial adoption and ultimately uniting children with families through international adoption today. In the 1890s, Clara Spence changed the way adoption was viewed in the United States. She also wanted to change how the orphans were treated because she did not think the government treated them righteously. Spence was one of the first to help set up specialized adoption agencies like the Spence Alumni Society and the Spence Chapman Services to families and children. In 1909, she was against institutional care and relocation for orphans because she felt it was inhumane. She believed that the children would have a better life in foster care. Spence also brought 13 children from Great Britain to be adopted into American families. This was the start of international adoption. In 1910, the International Social Services, also known as the ISS, became the first agency to formally start international adoption, first in Europe and eventually made its way to the United States. During World War II, the ISS USA helped find homes for refugee children. About 10 years later, Bertha and Harry Holt recognized the need to help the abandoned children of the Korean War. Bertha and Harry Holt were inspired to adopt after viewing a documentary about Amerasian children in Korea who were abandoned after the war. We had so many things in our life. We had a nice car and plenty of food and shelter. And those people in the movie, they didn't have anything. They were helpless babies. These mixed race babies, bothered by American soldiers with Korean women, were not desired within the Korean society. International adoption wasn't common for Americans prior to the Korean War. However, by the end of the Korean War, 100,000 children were orphaned, with over 10,000 of them homeless. Bertha and Harry Holt wanted to do everything they could for these children because they believed they were doing God's work. Even though they had six biological children of their own, they still sent money to South Korea to sponsor children. At that time, because of the 1953 Refugee Relief Act, a couple could only adopt two foreign-born children. Bertha and Harry Holt felt it wasn't enough and wanted to do more. Before they could help the children, the Holts knew that the current law had a change and needed the help of Oregon Senator Richard Neuberger, who introduced a bill of Congress titled, A Bill for Relief of Certain War Orphans. Bertha's tireless efforts in gathering support from friends and lobbying members of Congress resulted in passage of the bill within two months. The bill would forever be known as the Holt Bill, a special law that allowed Bertha and Harry Holt to adopt eight children from Korea and bring them to the United States. After the bill was passed, the Holtz flew to South Korea and adopted eight Korean War orphans which became part of their family. Harry then returned to Seoul where he built an orphanage for the abandoned children and also brought back more children for other families to adopt. Once again, an orphan airlift touches down at Portland, bringing a group of 24 Korean-American war waifs for adoption into American homes. The man responsible for these heartwarming scenes is Harry Holt of Presswell, Oregon. His third trip from Korea brings the total to 76. On his first trip last year, he brought eight youngsters, which he and Mrs. Holt themselves adopted. Since then, he has arranged for homes for all the other homeless waifs of mixed Korean and American blood, which makes Mr. Holt something of a record godfather. Big-hearted Harry Holt continues his kindly works. In 1956, 
Bertha and Harry Holt established the Holt International Children's Services, a faith-based agency to help other soon-to-be parents adopt foreign children. Because Holt International had a religious foundation, the Holt's faced criticism from adoption professionals and other agencies like the ISS, as well as policymakers who considered the Holt's dangerous amateurs. They wanted to put the Holt's out of business because they believed that the placement of children by the Holt's threatened the children's well-being. Fortunately, for the orphaned and abandoned children, these agencies failed to stop Holt International. The Holt's followed their calling by God and with hard work and compassion, inspired thousands more to welcome orphaned and abandoned children into American homes through international adoption. For both the adopted children, who many were starving, homeless, parentless, and had very little, and the adopting family, their lives will be changed forever. Several hundred thousands are sitting and crying. I didn't know they will die pretty soon because it was cold, they didn't have any food, nothing. They showed that a love of a family goes beyond the borders of a country and the barriers of race. As a result of their efforts, the Holtz changed society's attitudes towards adopting children from other countries and international adoption became more common among American families. Our founders actually pioneered the modern process of international adoption. When they... As pioneers in international adoption, Bertha and Harry Holt inspired more agencies to follow in their footsteps. One Korean child rescued by Harry, Susan Soon Cox, is now the Vice President of Holt International and has helped unite many families from Korea and other countries. Today, Holt International has united over 75,000 children in 13 different countries to grow and thrive in loving care of their families. Bertha and Harry Holt's legacy can be seen in the expansion of international adoptions in countries like Vietnam, China, Haiti, and India. In every country where we have adoption programs, we have local staff who help provide culturally sensitive guardianship to orphaned and abandoned children. A simple encounter with orphaned and abandoned babies in the wake of the Korean War led Bertha and Harry Holt to explore transracial adoption and ultimately uniting children and families through international adoption today. Through their deep Christian faith and fierce determination, Bertha and Harry Holt showed the world that adoption is a banner of love, not a badge of shame. The adoption agency that bears their name is the largest agency in the world and continues to reach out to orphaned, abandoned, and vulnerable children around the world, caring for them, nurturing them to health, and helping them to have stable, loving families of their own. As Bertha Holt once said, all children are beautiful when they are loved. God planned it. We didn't know anything about orphanages or orphans. We didn't know about international law. We didn't know about uh, welfare of children, except that uh, they're God's children and they should be cared for. 